Hey there, Jed Coburn is here from JedCoburnis.com, and this is talk therapy where I just talk out loud for 30 minutes because it is literally therapy. First 10 minutes is me versus my ego, and ego is my second voice that always talks me out of things. And I never, you know, I used to not listen to that side. I used to actually listen to that voice all the time and be very afraid of the unknown, but now I don't. And it's because of this. First 10 minutes is that. Second 10 minutes is me with my ego, basically shedding that old, you know, old thought process that happens. And right there, as soon as I stutter or go, uh, or, you know, or, um, that's my ego saying, oh, don't screw up, don't screw up, don't do it, don't screw up. And then that third 10 minutes is just me, right? So if anything, you can just fast forward this to that, to a 20 minute mark. And you'll probably hear a truthful, not necessarily that I'm not truthful, but then you'll probably hear some very deep, inspiring, uh, right there's my ego again, right? Um, whatever else that's happening in my life, just crazy deep thoughts, ideas, um, inspirational what have yous. And yeah, so this is my, this is what I do. This is one of my tools that I use every day for personal development, for sanity, for anything, right? I just kind <clears> of <throat> talk and this is, I don't worry about what I sound like, what I say, nothing, right? So if I ever do sit here and just, um, uh, you know, stuff like that, it's just because of this thing in my brain, it's my ego that says, Oh no, no, don't do it. Don't get tripped up. Don't say the wrong thing. You know, like don't, don't offend anybody. Really, it doesn't matter. Right here, this is my space. This is my area. This is my time. So that I can just sit and talk essentially to myself, about myself, about whoever, whomever I want to, whoever I want, whatever I want to. And it's not like I'm going to bash anybody or be mean because I only talk to myself or my way or however you want to call it I, I treat people how I want to be treated and and really to an extreme uh, because I just don't want to I don't want to be treated poorly I want to be taken care of I want to be loved I want to be understood I want to be whatever I want to be right and I am right so as soon as we say I want all of this stuff just isn't happening so I am I'm gonna switch all of those wants to I am and that's instantly why I do this beer and then it, it's going to instantly so I am loved I am understood I am I don't even remember what I just said so that's good so that's all I need to be is I I am I am loved I understood I am understood I am like that's it <clears throat> and I just realized this morning when I was doing my intentions uh, it's it I did my my daily writing where I just say good morning Jed I intend to be uh, and today was organized which is great and it's really funny that I said organized because <clears throat> I forgot a piece of my writing, which I'm going to say right now is my eight words. I say these words to myself, either I say it or I write it or I say it out loud, whatever it is. Um, I say these eight words. I am Jed Coverness. I can do whatever I say and write. I will hold my words as truth and law, I believe. And those eight words have really been powerful for me. Uh, and, and anybody can use them and anybody can use those words for themselves you can just say I am I can I will I believe those are some major words <clears throat> that you can adopt to your daily method of operation and if anybody knows what a DMO is it's just your you, you do it anyway you just don't even realize it you wake up and it's your patterns what patterns do you use every day that will help you get into a nice rhythm of happiness. Ooh, a nice rhythm of happiness. That's kind of cool, and that kind of just came out. I like that. A nice rhythm of happiness. <clears throat> Let's wrap on that for a while. What does that look like? For me, that looks like basically every day waking up and being grateful for the day. Like I get another day to, to create, to be, to help, to love right? I get that. I, 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 I have that. I already have that. No matter what I have or I don't have, I have that. 
I wake up and I instantly am grateful for that. So I start my day and I hit 20 minutes of, of just un, un, uninterrupted, nothing, no expectations of just 20 minutes and sitting, right? Like I'm sitting up, my head's not resting against anything because I'll probably fall back asleep. So the first 20 minutes I just sit there, right? And a rhythm, a good rhythm of happiness. I like that. It just, it just sets up the day for that. No matter if I'm running late or not, or hit snooze too many times, it's more or less just I have to get that 20 minutes in, and I do, and it's awesome because I just sit there, and there it is, right? Like I'm just there. I'm just, I know it sounds weird, it's meditation, and oh my gosh, I'm not going ohm or anything weird like that. I'm not putting my hands any certain way. I'm not folding my feet any certain way. And not that I'm against that. I'm just saying I don't do that. What I've adopted to my life is this. This saying goes a long way, and I heard it from Diane Hockman, one of my one of my mentors. She is just amazing. It's there is no right way, there is no wrong way. There's just your way, and that's what I've done for meditation. Is there's just my way, and if you want to do the same thing, awesome. If not, doesn't matter. You meditate your way. I'll meditate mine, and that's okay. So I just sit on the couch and I just sit, like literally my phone's on airplane mode so no, nothing comes in, nothing goes out, nothing, right? I'm just sitting and I'm being and, and really <clears throat> that's when some, some massive amount of flow comes and it's just crazy to me to think that in today's world we can't do that anymore and we can because it's like we gotta go, 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 go and, and that's, our, that's our ego talking, that's that second voice that always says well you don't know how and you gotta get this done. And, what about this? And if you stop and, and do nothing, if you literally just stop and do nothing for a solid 20 to 30 minutes every day, you will stop listening to that voice. That voice is what gets you to a state of overwhelm. Like everybody says, it's so overwhelming. Well, stop listening to that voice, right? So this is what's really trained me and, and really changed my thought patterns. I'm getting right into it seven minutes in and I think I'm already in my flow because I already feel my heart fluttering, my heart beating really hard and I'm short of breath, which is that's when I know I'm in my flow. So anyway, so when we're, when we're, you know, in that 20 minutes, when I'm in that 20 minutes, it's just some freeing feelings and I know I'm right after I wake up, right? But it doesn't matter. It's a huge deal to just sit there and do nothing. Now I used to listen to some active meditation some you know some guided meditation but that's okay I, th I think that's a good place to start if you're not ready to sit there and and really grasp onto doing nothing right so if you need something to listen to check out Paul Santisi the dude's pretty brilliant uh, he just he's got it figured out I think anyway um, but yeah so that's kind of fun you can give that a shot Paul Santisi he does active meditation and in your mind it just kind of this kind of goes you takes you for a wild ride which is awesome sometimes sometimes I still listen to it but not nearly as often because I like the the nothing like for an ADD kid for an ADHD kid you know whoa right that that can get kind of nuts to try to do nothing but it's gotten easier just like flexing a muscle just like working out everything gets easier the more consistent you do it right so that's today so that's your you're getting into a rhythm a good rhythm of happiness. <laughs> and I guess what I'm gonna call this thing today is good rhythm of happiness and how to get to it and how to acquire it. But really, <clears throat> if you stop and think about it, you're already there. You're already there. You just haven't realized it yet. And when we show up to a place of a good rhythm of happiness, then you know, then you know you're there. But so then the 20 minutes are done, okay? So then wake up a little bit more because I'm pretty much still sleepy. It's, it's more or less just going from a, a, a subconscious sleep to a conscious sleep because that's what meditation is. And then I write my intentions, right? I write the intentions for the day, a little prayer, and then I make my lunch and um, eat some breakfast real quick. See, there's my ego going, oh, Mom, what do you do? What do you do? How do you not know that of what you do every day? Yeah, right? You know, make my lunch, eat some breakfast, and then I, I do the workout of the day. I do my own workout of the day. I record it and then do it, and then I hit the road, right? Like, that's it. That's the first hour of my day. I think I get, 
I would dare to say that I get more done in the first hour of my day than most people get done in the first half, if not three quarters of their day. Like, just saying, right? I'm just saying I get more done in the first hour that I'm awake than most people get done in the first half or first three quarters of their day. Now, why do I feel like that? I don't know. And I love that I don't know why. But that's just me. And I say, dare I say that, because I'm good with it. If anybody want to say, no, I get more done than you, that's great. I'm glad you feel like that. I'm glad that you feel productive. I'm glad that you feel that you're doing something. Awesome. But, how's your movement? <clears throat> how's your personal development? How's your inner peace? If it's not where you want it to be, let's talk, right? And that's where I'm at, is, is getting to that... Actually, I am. I'm in the rhythm. I'm in the rhythm of good of happiness. I don't even remember what I'm going to call this again. I'm in the rhythm of good happiness. Rhythm, rhythm, in the rhythm of. I don't. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter because this is just you know. This is just amazing on how I'm feeling right now because it is. It's a. It's a realization of doing something consistently for 134 days. Right. I just recorded. Um, workout of the day number 134 and and it's just it's awesome right 134 out of 365 and I'm really understanding the the potential that this has because when you really when you when you stop and think that anything's possible and you can create from that place then anything is possible because there are people out there who know about me that are way big big time like bigger time than I am <clears throat> and they're watching what I'm doing which that's pretty dang cool like that to me is that I don't expect anything I have zero expectations for anybody I'm doing this because I want to not because I have to there's things that you want to do there's things that you have to do there's things that you get to do which place are you pulling from most of the day I would say most of the day, I'm pulling from I want to and I get to, right? Now there's things I have to do. I have to get dressed, right? I have to drive to work. I mean, it literally doesn't matter what work you're going to. I mean, unless you work from home, which that's great, right? If that's your if that's your deal, awesome. Uh, but I, I have to, you know, I have to pay bills. It's not like you're not ever going to pay bills, no matter what you're doing. You have to pay bills. Uh, you know, there's just things like that. There's just things like that. There, but if you're pulling most of the time from a place, if you're going to a place, from going from a place to you have to, to you get to, to you want to, right? That is a great way to get to that place. That is a great way to constantly be in that place of be in a good rhythm of happiness. Ooh, right? There it is. Good rhythm of happiness. Huh? But that's, I mean, it is. It just comes down to it. And, you know, and in 13 minutes, 22 seconds, here I am just kind of, you know, being right into a place of, of grateful, right? Gratefulness or gratitude. I don't even know the word sometimes, and that's okay. And I love that I don't know. And, you know, this place sometimes comes from, I don't know where it comes yeah, so as far as where I was going with that, I don't really know, but just being in the rhythm of happiness, getting to a place of good rhythm of happiness. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, you just go and go and go and go, and you just keep trying and trying and trying, and that is okay. Like, trying is not a bad thing. It, it's more or less, I think we get it. I think we get it switched around because when we try, <clears throat> it does give us some opportunity to not do it and some opportunity to fail. But I think failure is a good thing too. Like if you fail, you just found one more thing that didn't work and then try something different and try something different and continuously try different things. Like that is a big deal to continuously to try different things. Like it just, it, there's a lot of, lot of trying going on out there, and I think 99% of the people think they're trying, but what kind of trying are you doing? And I think that's a big question to ask. If you're quote-unquote trying, and not much is actually happening, 
with your doing, then you're not really trying. I think what we do is we have we have really watered down the word try. We have really, you know, tarnished trying. I think we have because it's like, well, I tried that and it didn't work. But nobody really calls that person out on their bullshit to say, did you really try? Did you absolutely give it your 110% a solid try? And if they say yes, I still really don't believe them. I still really don't. Like if they actually tried for whatever they were doing and, and stuck with it, then that's a try. Like that's a full try. But if you try it for a day and then quit or try it for a week and then quit or try it for two weeks and then quit, well then that's not a try. That's an attempt, that's a different kind of start and end than a try. Like I think that's the big difference between actually starting something and finishing and actually trying it. Like if you tried it, try is a big word that I think it just gets so, it just gets so tarnished, it just gets so overused that oh no, I can't try anymore. And you're just like, man, really give it a solid try. Be honest with yourself. Be, you know, a lot of times when a person says I tried that and it didn't work, they're not honest with themselves. They're really not. It didn't work for you, which is fine. You can, if you actually gave it a solid try, it, it may not work for you because with anything, there is no right way, there is no wrong way, there is just your way. And that is a big statement. That is a big, bold statement because not a lot of people take ownership with whatever they're trying to do. That's why I'm here with the, this, I just persevere with this 365 day, whatever I'm calling it. This more, less time, more energy. I don't know, like that's what I had for, for a title. Like I'm trying to find the title to this, to this book, this experience, whatever it is. And I like four words, less time, more energy, the 365 day approach, something like that. I don't know if that, I don't know. And I love that. I don't know if that even makes sense, but, um, less time, more energy, the 365 day approach. Hmm. That kind of rolled off the tongue that quite nice, but who knows? <clears throat> the, the fact of the matter is that what you do is you just move on and you just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. That's the biggest deal of all of this is that you don't worry about what anything looks like, what anything feels like. You just go with it. 365 days, you just keep going. One year is a solid try. If by the end of one year, you're sitting here and not not feeling any different, then you have followed my method and it didn't work. That's okay. That is completely okay. <clears throat> but if you get six months down the road and you quit, then you didn't give it a try because that's, that's my approach is one year. And those are the people that I'm working with. And those are the people that I want to work with. And those are the people that completely understand the end game. What is the end game? What is, you know, what is it that we get to that we know we need to get to? Well, once I lose 40 pounds, then I can, you know, start talking to more people and being successful. Once I lose anything, once I start having more confidence, then I can go and do this and that. Why wait until you're like, it's just so funny to me. Why wait until you get to that point? Because you actually are at that point. Like you're actually there. You're literally there. And it just it reverse engineer, reverse engineer that, th that kind of thing. It's just funny because I don't think I've ever st understood reverse engineering. And that comes from Gary Vaynerchuk. The dude's got it figured out. <clears throat> reverse engineering means act like you already have it done. And then your mind will basically find ways to get it done. Right? Like, that's what I, that's what I really adopted with this 365 day thing, this, this less energy or less time, more energy. I don't know. I kind of like that, that saying, and I don't know. And I love that. I don't know why I like that saying, but it, it basically comes down to, it basically comes down to you, 
act as if you already have the confidence. Act as if you already have lost the weight. Act as if you already have a team that you're working with, working on, whatever it is. <clears throat> act like you already have whatever it is that you want in life. And that is a big deal. And if you're not going to do that, you're only going to be delaying yourself, delaying this life that you dream of every day that much longer, that much further. So that's, I mean, reverse engineer it, reverse engineer everything. Like as soon as you think, oh man, that'd be cool if I have that or I want that or whatever it is, act like you already have it. Because then if you don't, your mind has already taken it in as you have it and the, you're gonna find a way to to acquire it to actually gain whatever it is that you're quote-unquote wanting and that's a crazy deal like it is a very crazy deal so do that right why not what's that gonna do what's the worst that can happen you're actually gonna have change you're actually gonna find some permanent lifestyle choices why not right why not that's a crazy deal to me so that's you know it's just it's just insane i don't know what to do i don't know what to say some days i don't know and i love that i don't know there's just many times throughout the day that you just keep moving and you just keep going and and when you find things that you think you, you can't do anymore then you then you just move on to the next thing right just move on to the next thing and you completely love the process and keep going and loving the process that's just it's just some of the most freeing things i could ever i could ever say is just keep going keep trying and that's what i have to tell myself and that's what brings me to a good rhythm of happiness daily, right? Like, it's just awesome. There's just many things a day that happen that I don't even think about anymore. I don't even think about because I don't need to think about them anymore. It's just awesome. So you gotta just keep going no matter what and keep persevering. <clears throat> and that's what I tell myself. And this is what, this is what talk therapy is all about because if you don't you know you kind of have to talk you kind of have to talk yourself into a lot of these things you kind of have to talk yourself into what health is what what physical what what physical changes you want to continuously make and you know move at a place of yeah move from a place of inspiring to or, or not just from desperation to inspiration basically so there's many days that I don't get what I'm doing but that's okay because I just keep doing it right I just keep doing it no matter what no matter what you just keep moving and you keep going and that's how it works that's what you do no matter what it's just funny to me that I don't know what I'm doing some days it's kind of to the point of fake it till you make it but I'm not really faking it because if you're faking it you wouldn't keep going you wouldn't want to keep going there would be no drive there would be no understanding there'd be no purpose but now there is there always is because you come from a place of purpose come from a place of truth and movement and love that's how it works and that's where you just keep going but that only makes sense. So that's what you do to keep going and get into that rhythm, the good rhythm of happiness. No matter what, keep going. I know, I know I keep repeating myself, but apparently, apparently I think I need to hear that today. And that's okay. Because not every day is gonna be, you know, peaches and cream. Not every day, it, everything's going to be, you know, completely 100%. I got this every day, but that's talk therapy. That's movement. That's whatever you want it to be. And this is, you know, my center right here. This is by the time I hit 
that 20 minutes. This is me being me, no matter what. And it's awesome because this is truly what I think about every day. This is truly just my truth every day. And it's crazy to think that some people can't even reach this, reach this point in their day and in their existence, right? It just doesn't make much sense to me because there are just some days that some people can get to it and some people can't. And we just keep moving and you keep doing and you keep persevering. That's the point. That's the point. And I think a lot of times for myself, I'm just talking to myself and that's okay because I am my own problem. I am my own solution. And that is a big deal to say out loud. To come to that realization is an even bigger deal. Because many times, some people don't even realize that they're their own problem. They have to just get out of their own way. Right? Just get out of your own way. And you will be, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. But that's, you know, I mean, that's really my offer for anybody every day. Is to get out of your own way. Be happy with what you have. Move on into a higher existence. Be you and love being you. That's a big deal. Anybody else who's, who wants to be something else, and really, if you want to be that, you already are that. You just have to believe it. You just go into a place of reverse engineering it. It's just getting to that place of knowing that that's who you are. And if that's not who you are, then stop being that. Then stop forcing it, right? Stop forcing what that means and what that is. Because if there is anything else that I know, actually I know more than, than the sun comes up tomorrow, is that people's bullshit radar, radars today are really high. They can tell when you're being fake. And being fake doesn't do anything for anybody. So if you're posting on Facebook and not being truthful to yourself, people are going to tell that. People are going to know that. People are going to see right through that. They just are. And if you think they aren't, you're fooling yourself again. Right? You're fooling yourself again to the point where that's not going to happen. Oh, it's happening. It's happening more than you even know about it. So, give it a go. Try something new today. Try anything that makes you feel good, right? Try anything that makes you feel good. So, what do you, you know, whatever. Give it a shot. Whatever you got, keep going. Whatever it's gonna make you feel good, do that. I mean, obviously within reason of ethics and morals, but if you feel great, then feel great. And keep going with it. Recognize that. Be aware of what that feels like and what that is. And just keep moving with it. That's my offer. That's my offer for anybody every day. It's to find what makes you happy and keep going with it. It's a big deal to me. And I always say it. I always, always, always say it. I say, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. And you will. You will. Because that's where it begins. From the neck up. It's a big deal to want to change your mind first. And to create a community of people to do that. Right? That is the step. That is the step I don't think many people really get to. They don't really have the community of people, whether it's in person or whether it's um, online or whatever. But there are many communities out there, two of them of which I'm a part of, you know, my own YGT Fitness um, and YGT Family, I should call it, because um, it's not just fitness, it's everything else wrapped around it. And then T3, the T3 method, total transformation training 
If you want to go to t3method.com, that's a that is a massive community, and there's that many m members, and it doesn't matter, right? Those are some high, high, high. Actually, I should say highly successful um, people that are really, really f getting this truth and being in the moment and being aware of the moment. So if you want that, head to t3method.com. Give that a shot. Come on in. It's a very supportive community. And as always, and I'll say it again, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. And now it's time for you to believe in yourself. If you want to get on my newsletter, head to jedcoverness.com forward slash newsletter. And, you know, let's make your dreams become reality. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.